At least it's not raining and we have some sun outside the whole day long, which is beautiful. But the waves, they are really, really, makes you tired. The thunderstorm just went through us, bring heavy, heavy wind. I decide that I'm gonna go and take some rest, sleep well and then go because for 24 hours I didn't sleep because simply the other guy can't handle the sailing and I can't trust him even for a couple minutes Now you know we are in a harbor where the fishing boats are coming and uh, luckily we yesterday I didn't film so much but we came here and we were just so tired so we went straight away sleeping sleep and uh, yoo hoo we crossed the Baltic Sea but not in the direction that I wanted we changed direction at the end to Estonia instead of going to Latvia so we're gonna we're gonna uh, see uh, it, it's gonna be really really strong winds tomorrow it's a storm coming up and uh, so I, that's one of the reasons why I changed the course uh, just to, to go around the islands and then uh, yeah I can show you in a map look here where we came from and this is where we were planning to head and this is where we actually go and now we are going to one marine and from there we're gonna see if we can cross the Baltic Sea to get to Saladgriva which is in uh, Latvia already Th this passage gonna be mostly with the engine because it's going to be a really, really shadow of waters. This is the island of Estonia, Saarema Island. And uh, now we have a good wind, so we use the wind to get us forward and then uh, we're gonna change direction we're gonna go between the islands so most likely we're gonna use the engine then because it's really really shadow waters and it's a dangerous place for any sailing vessel so uh, have to be really careful but that's what we choose and uh, we are not the first ones who went through there so uh, should be fine but we have to keep the focus and we have to go there during the day because during the night we can't uh, be able to see that good and uh, that's the reason why we left early in the morning so we can go there through the shadow shadow waters during the daytime so we are not so far away it's like two hours and then we're gonna change the course going in between the islands so far it was really good, wind was friendly for us, direction is good and uh, we are sailing really good. Uh, the night was really hard, well the night sailing always is a little bit hard, especially when you don't have the autopilot, when you have to steer the boat all the time. And the other guy is not experienced at all, uh, so I have to take everything by myself. And that's the hardest part, 24 hours without any sleep, that's really really hard. So uh, yeah, but, but I love it, I like it and I'm not regretting anything. Yo, we have a sun, how awesome is that? It's so cool. This is what I call the perfect wind, look at this. How cool is that, right? Yo, this is how 
much you can see around here. Everything is white with the fog. The fog is all around. It's crazy. <laughs> and we are uh, now trying to find the marine, the entrance for marine. That's like impossible, but we will manage. Been sailing 24 hours again. So now finally we are reaching our one of the last destinations. So I have to go right now, but yeah. How crazy this one is. Alright guys, we are in Saladsgriva, which is a city a little bit away from Riga, approximately 50 nautical miles from Riga. So today we are preparing to go to Riga and the new owners uh, are coming today and it's a funny area it's like an area where you cutting the wood and stuff like that uh, let's go and check the beach because uh, Latvia is famous with the beaches uh, because well, it is a uh, white sand white sand beaches and uh, here is a little bit uh, like stones and stuff and it's really like they're producing uh, this is factory and uh, this is not like a sailing yacht uh, club or something so we just took the place where the uh, cargo ships are going but the guys are super nice and they allow us to stay there for how much how long we want so look at this this is awesome right there's there's some guy walking with the dog but yeah I mean here it has uh, here you can find some stones but actually when you look a little bit there uh, it's it's only sand it's sand all over so uh, it's really nice you can walk and walk and walk and walk and never get deep <laughs> never get deep the water and that's also a really dangerous thing for the for sailing because it feels like it's deep, but actually it's really shallow waters. And I think we're waiting now for the new owners. And we're gonna take the boat to Riga. Last passage. So, yeah, they call me. They are like two kilometers away from me. So, just in a couple of minutes, they're gonna be here. Excited. Now we are with the new owners. We are heading to Riga. So in about six hours, we're gonna be uh, going in in the river Daugava. So then from there, it's about two hours motoring, and we and I'm then I finally gonna be in the destination. Uh, it's awesome feeling. New owners are trying to uh, find the rhythm with a new boat. And, uh, I show up, and so so far it goes good. Uh, good so. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Really, really close, and we are now almost in Riga. Well, we are in Riga, but uh, we are in Riga Daugava, which is river. So we have to go uh, approximately four nautical miles through that river, 
to get to the central uh, part of Riga where we have where the new owners have the boat place so it's so close to the finish it's so amazing all journey was so so good weather was up and down but uh, yeah for October perfect that's exactly it was a little bit test for me for sure because the guy didn't know how to sail and he couldn't uh, hold the course so I have to take over everything but so far everything was good I changed the plan and go around uh, Estonia instead of uh, going straight to Latvia so uh, yeah and uh, here is the city right there so I already can see the central city and here is the for ships and, and loading uh, docks and uh, it's all around here that's how you how it is when you go in uh, Riga uh, with the boat that's what you see first this is all industrial uh, area and then you have a central Riga uh, which is a really really beautiful place if you've never been there, visit. It's it's a great place. Okay. Now we are in Riga and the boat is delivered. Officially the trip is done. My mother is gonna pick me up right now. She's already here and the guys are uh, get used to the new boat. My job is over and uh, my journey ends up right here. So in a couple days I'm gonna fly back to Sweden and continue with my regular work and my Helberas Erasmus. So see you in the next one and stay tuned. Bye!